Hello friends, it's me Doom and today we're going to be taking a look at how best to fill your keep net or stringer as it were here on the Tiber River and that is with asp. Now asp are not the most efficient thing on this river, however, once you're done with trout or whatever you're going after here, I haven't quite figured that out yet because this isn't necessarily a very efficient lake or river as it were. Asp are a great way to fill to, to meet your quota to hit your goal to uh, to make you that extra money and it's just as easy well almost just as easy to catch as walleye so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down to three simple steps we're gonna be talking about the location we're gonna be talking about the gear and then we're gonna be talking about the retrieve now first things first before we get started n number one always grab a license because it is a 10 thousand credit fine if you happen to yeah catch anything so by license it's four thousand here now let's say you've spent all day catching trout over here and i'm going to talk about that on a later video and there should be a link in the description below if it's already out now you head up to the bridge there we are that is the bridge and let's see i'm gonna go ahead and go to private rooms yep Head up to the bridge. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a left on this bridge. You can do it from anywhere on the bridge. I just happen to have my personal favorite spot and my controller is not working. Hold on. There we go. All right, so you're going to be making a left. Turning down this trail, and I've got the floaty glitch on, so uh, I'm just going to stop right here and float down. Now, this sounds like something that you can use to your advantage, but unfortunately, not the case. There's not a lot of places you can go that's actually effective with the, uh, the floaty glitch, so yeah. So once you're done floating down... You're going to be casting out here in this direction. I personally prefer right in between these two columns here. Uh, you can do it anywhere, really, though. And you can actually catch them all day, but I'm going to show you the best time when I've had the most luck. So now that we talked about location, let's check on that gear. So the rod and reel I'm using are not necessarily the most efficiently matched, but uh, it's, it's doing all right. Let's see here. So the rod that I'm using is a Thora 9.6 with a 6 through 21 pound limit and we're going to go over here to the spirit double punch you'll see that is up to a 26 pound situation here I have let's see here 20 pound test line attached to the Aspira this is mono I suggest for this case in particular and also any trout that you go after that you actually go with Floraline instead of yeah, because everything here pretty much except for the uh, the wells, catfish, and the eels hunt with their faces. I mean, hunt with their eyes. There we go. Now, the real winner here is going to be this guy. Actually, a collection of this guy. Pretty much any walker that you have. I, If I had a half-ounce walker that uh, had a number one ought, that'd be great, but I don't. So, you can either use a three-eighths ounce number one knot or you can use a let's see what are you and yeah one half ounce a number three ought I'm gonna be using that guy you can even use this yellow guy it actually does not matter at night it does matter during the day during the day use silver so now that we've talked about where to fish and what to fish with it's time to talk about the retrieve nope just kidding one final note guys don't forget you're going to be doing night fishing. Night peaks are the best. It, for some reason, it shows that it's like 10.30 right now. However, I have it set for 9 o'clock. And we're going to go ahead and hit that up and see what's going on. I'm going to show you guys a bonus thing at the end of this video, so stick around! And that bonus thing will be how to use float tackle so that you can fish actively using a lure and maybe get a, uh, you know, a rod pod going. So... What we're going to do is we're going to cast out, for those of you unfamiliar with walking lures, we're just going to do a straight walk, just a regular old walk. I got my real speed set to a 2, 
and I'm going to start doing it. It's just while you're going, just pop it up. That's all. I already got a bite. Now, there's going to be a lot of missed bites. I haven't quite figured out how to counteract that yet, but there's going to be a lot of missed bites. There we go. And before no time, you'll have your very own asp on the line, and you can bring it in just like me. And behold, the mighty asp. It's a trophy, too. Now, this technique can be used to, to catch uniques as well, and there's no actual specific time to catch uniques. Now, if you look at the poundage versus the money, you'll see it's not necessarily the best money-wise. However, like I said, this is perfect for filling up your keep net. So now that we know how to do this, we're going for an extra bonus fourth step. We're gonna show you how to catch them on float tackle so that while you're here doing this, and if you have a rod pod, you can just go ahead and just catch them one right after the other. All right, so I'm switching over to my Ardix 11.2, and I'm putting the same, basically the same equipment on there, although I could, let's see here, 25. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it with just a little bit more powerful line here. There we are. And let's see, put on a shiny barbell. On the hook that is the number two art. Uh, there we go. And now here is the star of the show, the grasshopper. Grasshoppers, crickets, that kind of deal. Mayflies even maybe, I haven't tried them. But here's the key to success. Six inches. Three through 10 inches, somewhere in the middle there. I like six, maybe seven. Sure, let's go with seven. Nah, let's go with six, boom. It's not an exact science, but I mean, that's just what's worked for me, you know? So, what we're going to do, as one might imagine, is we are going to hit the go fishing button. And we are going to cast out right here, and we're going to let the current take it down. So when you're setting up your rod pod, just kidding, let's try that again. So when you're setting up your rod pod... There we are. Just go ahead and cast her out right there, get your float fishing in, and before you know it, you'll have dings galore. Now be careful, because these guys like to mess with it a lot. So it's going to do a lot of dancing, but don't you dare hit that button until the, uh, until the actual bobber goes under. I almost got it right there. <laughs> there it is. And before you know it, You'll have your very own asp on the line again. Now this actually might be more efficient than the float tackle of it, the float tackle section of this video, um, simply due to the fact that they are top water feeders, and these are insects instead of chunks of plastic and metal. Da, 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 da. Trophy asp. So that's it for today, and now you know how to catch asps, trophies, uniques, and all sorts of other things very frequently, at least 100 pounds a night, in the very minimum. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want to see me live or premiere, do one of my video premieres, hit that bell notification icon and yeah, I'll see you, and you can see me on the next episode of Fun Doom Gaming! Yeah.